Hallelujah. 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 Today we are considering the subject do you want to become great? Turn to word of God. According to the inspiration of the Holy Spirit it is it is God's desire that we have to turn to word of God. It is through the word of God that we all the people of God are promised peace, prosperity, health, long life, and everything on this earth and also to the, in the life which is to come. Let us read Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 5. If you will only obey the Lord your God by diligently observing all his commandments that I am commanding you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. Yes, the Lord your God will set you high among all the nations. If you obey, if you listen, if you, if you accept the word of God. Yes. All these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the Lord your God. Yes. Blessed shall you be in the city and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your livestock, both the increase of your cattle and the issue of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Hallelujah. 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 One day, a young man came to me and said, Father, I am in utter desperation. After long years of my studies, I don't have a job. I have no income, no money. I don't know what to do with this life. And I said to him, Oh, my dear gentleman, do you want to enjoy your life? Do you want prosperity? Do you want peace of mind? Do you want spiritual blessings? Do you want integrity of your family? Do one thing. Turn to the word of God. Have you ever participated? Have you ever attended a five days retreat? Have you ever gone for Bible convention? Bible retreats? Have you ever heard word of God, preaching the word of God? That man said, no, 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 no. I was always fully busy with my studies. Then I said, please, now we, mo we will not talk anymore. Please attend a five days retreat. And afterward we will speak each other. And uh, uh, he agreed. He attended a five days Bible retreat there. And after the retreat, he came to me and said, Father, now I understood the importance of word of God in our life. Within a few weeks, I, th I think after one month, he came to, came to me and said, Father, according to the promise of the word of God, Lord blessed me and he gave me a job. So, during the retreat, when he took this, this decision, he said to the Lord, Lord, I will do like this. So, you please give me a job. Even though uh, with a, so, a small salary, give me a job, he prayed. And after one month, he came and said, I got a job with a small salary. After that, he joined that job. And uh, uh, at the end of that year, again he came and he again attended a five days retreat. And during that retreat, he asked for a job with a high salary with a good salary and uh, after the retreat he went to, went home and uh, uh, within a few months he was appointed 
with a, with a, with a high salary with a good salary in a, in a major town in india and he was very happy every month he used to give his tithe and every day he used to read word of god every day he without any failure every day he uh, did his family uh, his night prayers and like that and he became a very good spiritual man he he put his foundation of his life in the word of god after one year again he came and he, he listened word of god for five days in a five days presidential retreat and then he prayed lord now i ask you i no no more i need a job make me a job giver make me a job giver i want to be a businessman i want to be a firm owner you can make me that and within a few months in a major city of india he became a businessman as he prayed lord bless him and uh, when i uh, when i meet, uh, met him uh, i think after three years there were 60 employees under his under, under him and his business firm grew like anything he became a very rich man he used to give 200000 rupees every year that much lord blessed him within a three or four years within three years and afterwards he again he came and attended five days bible convention and he accepted the word of god he learned uh, deeply word of god and he prayed lord i want to spread my business to other countries to foreign countries lord bless him and uh, when i met him after 5 years he has business in different countries in russia and like nearby countries of russia and he was a international businessman hallelujah hallelujah so he became an international businessman and he came whenever he comes to india strangely he will come to sahiyan where the retreats are going on and he will do all the manual work there he will split the logs he will carry things on his head to the kitchen and he will do the kitchen work he will serve he will clean the toilets then i will ask him oh gentleman what are you doing he will say see father it is the word of god that made me this much great so i want to serve the word of god i want to serve those who come to hear the word of god i am a servant for those who are coming here to hear the word of god he is doing five days or two weeks service there praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah deuteronomy 28:13 deuteronomy 28:13 it is the wish of our heavenly father don't think that uh, we, we, i am a poor man i will be like this uh, like that our heavenly father is very much pleased to bless us with the abundance of blessings of heaven it is not because of the uh, our activities our abilities we grow prosper what what is written in the bible 28 13 the lord will make you the head and not the tail you shall be only at the top and not at the bottom yes it is the wish of our heavenly father to make you top when you are suffer you are going undergoing so much of uh, uh, afflictions he is not at all happy with that you have to come we have to come over that john 15:7 to be in the top of the things to enjoy the prosperity to enjoy the blessings of the lord it is not enough that every time lord bless me bless me bless me no 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 this is not the way what do you have to, what we have to do john 15:7 if you abide in me and my words abide in you ask for whatever you wish and it will be done for you yes 
ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you if my words abide in you and you abide in me praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 my dear sisters and brothers it is it is very very beneficial it is very very blissful for us to turn to the word of god book of revelation chapter 1 verse 3 book of revelation chapter 1 verse 3 it is very it is very blissful even to hear the word of god to hear the word of god to carry the word of god to observe the word of god everything is blissful yes blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of the prophecy and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it for the time is near yes to read loudly word of god to hear the word of god to observe everything is a blessing for us book of isaiah chapter 27 verse 11 if you do not give your ear to the word of god then how it will turn upon you book of isaiah chapter 27 verse 11 when its bows are dry they are broken women come and make a fire of them for this is a people without understanding therefore he that made them will not have compassion on them yes god the creator have no pleasure upon us if we do not if we do not give importance to the word of god he is not at all pleased with us we may be doing so many charity works but no word of god in us no word of god in us if there is no word of god in us our creator our heavenly father has no pleasure with us he is not at all pleased with us John chapter 8 verse 37 I know that you are descendants of Abraham yet you look for an opportunity to kill me because there is no place in you for my word yes you want to kill me you want to kill the church you hate the church you want to kill the prayer as much you to cut the time as as, as much as possible prayer time Cut, cutting every spiritual activities you want to kill spiritual activities you want to uh, you want to max, you want to cut short maximum what all things are there for your spirit uh, for your soul you are not at all relishing you are not at all enjoying you don't have any taste for word of god any taste for church activities any taste for sacraments any taste for prayer you want to kill because there is no word of god in you for everything is boring because there is no word of god in you gospel of john chapter 8 verse 43 gospel of john chapter 8 verse 43 why do you not understand what i say it is because you cannot accept my word yes you are incapable by accepting the world world worldly pleasures by following the the satanic uh, pleasures pleasure which is not from the from the word of god by going hither and thither now what happened we became incapable to hear the word of god once again let us read 843 why do you not understand what i say yes now you are in a position that you not you are not at all able to understand the word why it is because you cannot accept my word yes incapable how we became incapable 
Second Corinthians chapter four verse three and four. We we were capable by birth and by baptism. We are all we were all capable to understand, to hear, to receive word of God. But slowly we became incapable. How? Second Corinthians chapter four verse three and four. And even if our gospel is veiled. it is veiled to those who are perishing in their case the god of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of christ yes the light of the gospel the glory of christ is blocked from them from their sight now let us stand up and pray oh lord help us to understand the power and importance of the word of god open our eyes oh lord give us the divine wisdom to follow the word of god oh holy spirit move upon us once more one more time let us raise up our hands let us pray together with this holy fire team hallelujah hallelujah we precious holy spirit move in me precious spirit move in me precious spirit one more time yes let us pray move in me precious spirit move in me precious spirit move in me precious spirit abide in me and and my word in you ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you praise the lord praise, praise the lord, lord. Infirmities before Lord Jesus. Matthew chapter eight, verse seventeen. He took away all our infirmities and carried away all our diseases. 
with a deep faith let us call the mighty name jesus please kneel down before the lord jesus jesus is really present here and stretch out your hands jesus. call the mighty name jesus 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 not jesus 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 Thanksgiving be 